Kolla på det här. Yes. Så här måste jag stå med huvudet för att stå av. Yes. Jävligt litet. Yes. Yes. Big in Japan. Yes. Japan. Alright, today we're going to Roppongi and Takao. It's like countryside. It's right outside Tokyo. Roppongi. This is a good place for clubbing, drinking and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. A lot of rich people also live here. Um, if you don't speak Japanese and you want to have a good time, uh, this is the place to go. It's like a lot of foreigners come here to drink and party and the Japanese people who go here usually speaks English so you can have like good communication and yeah, hang out with some of the locals. Uh, recently this place became quite famous for having a bunch of events and uh, art nights and other things like pub crawls and of course Roppongi Hills which is quite fancy pantsy uh, with a bunch of rich people uh, at least I think so. Um, they have a lot of uh, they have a lot of nomehodais in on the Roppongi strip and um, which kind of means that you pay like thousand to three thousand yen and you can drink as much as you want for like a couple of hours so it's a cheap way to get drunk uh, it's also an area where Yakuza members may or may not hang out uh, when I visited Japan the first time like three years ago I think I met the Yakuza member I was like walking around by myself and he asked me to join him for some sushi so he ordered beer and a lot of yummy sushi and then he just paid for it and left so yeah I think it was Yakuza but either way the, the sushi was good next up is Takao so basically when your liver is dead and your head is about to explode from all the impressions Tokyo will jam down your throat this is the place to go it takes like one hour with a local train just out of Tokyo and you will come across this really nice area called Takao it's like a mountain um, you can either hike up the mountain or take some sort of train for the lazy ones. Uh, up on the top you have some restaurants, temples and uh, sometimes they have like a beer festival here. I went uh, This year I went there for the beer festival. Uh, that was really cool. But I broke my phone so it was not so cool in the end. Like I said it's just like one hour out of Tokyo and sometimes you really need this uh, just to calm down and re recharge your batteries. Alright, that's it for this week. See ya.